So I'm going to go quickly through the week to review 13, which is a review for your final exam. Um, doing this will help you get ready for the different kinds of problems we're going to have. So first one is solving. Um, draw your line on your equal sign. Make sure you distribute first. So we have negative 148 equals 8 plus 24 plus 30p. Now right here we need to combine like terms before we move on. So the 8 and 24 is 32 plus 30p equals negative 148. Get variables on one side, numbers on the other. So we have 30p equals negative 180 divided by 30, p equals negative 6. Number two is a proportion. We're going to cross multiply. I would suggest taking this little extra step just to make sure you don't forget to distribute both sides. 5v plus 30 equals 10v minus 20. I'm going to move the, the v's to one side. And the numbers to the other. 5v equals 50, so v equals 10. graph we have this is a slope intercept form so i'm going to write it as a slope one over one so i'm going to start at three i'm going to go up one over one make a few points there's my line this one before i graph it i need to solve for y divide everything by negative four So we have y equals one fourth because it's two negatives to make a positive x plus one. Again, my y intercept first. And I'm going to go up one over four. A quick thing to remember is that any lines that are getting bigger are positive, any lines getting smaller are negative. Okay, sketch the graph of the inequality. Uh, the fact there's no equal sign means it's going to be a dashed line. So I just go ahead and graph my line and put a point three and then i go up three over two dashed and then the less than means i'm shading below the line so the question that could be asked here is which points are solutions so any point you plot would be a solution if it's in the shaded area. Any point on the line in this case would not be a solution. If there was an equal sign, any point on the line would be a solution and this would be solid. You're not, you'll have a little key reminding you of which of those things are which. Okay, so polynomials, just be careful when you're doing these that you know whether or not you're multiplying or adding and subtracting. So just take a look if there's signs between the parentheses so I'm just going to rewrite distributing my negative. So plus x minus 3x squared minus 7x squared minus x. So I get my x squared terms together. That's negative 18. And my x terms together is negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Minus 1 is negative 4. And that's it. We're just combining like terms. There's no powers changing because we're just adding and subtracting. Okay, for this one, uh, you can multiply these together. Um, I'm going to do this how we've been factoring. I'm going to take 3n times 4n is 12n squared. 3n times negative 3 is negative 9n. Negative 7 times 4 is negative 28n. Negative 7 times negative 3 is 21. I just need to combine these. So we have 12n squared minus 37n plus 21. You also can use the box method if you like that method better. However many terms there are, that's the dimensions of the box. And you can multiply that and you get the same answer. So solve the system using the method. There's a graph given. If, if it's solved for y, 
and, and it's a reasonable size. Graphing is probably the easiest way to solve it. So I'm, I'm going to graph both my lines. There's y equals 4, slope is 1 half, and I'm just going to make some points. doesn't mark very well here, but I'm going to... And I'll make my line later because I just need to see which points are common. The second one I'm going to write as a fraction. And the slope is negative 2. So that's down 2 over 1. I'm going to go up 2 to the left one. And then as you can see we shared a point right here. And that's my solution. So that's negative 2, positive 3. Or x equals negative 2, y equals 3. The other way you could do it if they're both solved for y is substitution. And you could set the two equations equal to each other because they're both equal to y. Again, solve the system using any method. If y is by itself, substitution is a good method. So I rewrite the first equation. And I substitute negative 2x plus 9 in for y and distribute. So that's negative 6x plus 27 equals 11. Now I'm into solving. So combine your like terms. Subtract 27. So negative 4x equals negative 16, x equals 4. Second step of substitution is to substitute. So I'm going to go back here, y equals negative 2 times 4 plus 9. That's negative 8 plus 9, which is 1. So x equals 4, y equals 1. This one, if the terms are lined up, uh, I'm going to do elimination. And first, can, uh, I look, I can see I can eliminate something right away. So I don't have to multiply either of the equations. I'm just going to add the two equations together. 9x equals 9, so x equals 1. Second step would be to substitute your answer from your first step into one of the two equations. So I'm putting in 1 for x. Now I can subtract 5. 6y equals 18, y equals 3. So the solution here is 1, 3. Factor, uh, it's what we've been working on the most. Uh, looking at three terms with all those powers, I know I'm going to try to take a GCF out. It looks like 4 goes into all of those numbers, and x to the third leaves me with 9x squared minus 5x plus 7. And if I want to do this completely, I'm going to check and see if I use 3x and 3x and 7 and 1, is there any way I can come up with 5? That's not going to happen. And then I try 9 and 1, but again, I know 9 and 1, 9 and 7, I can't come up with the middle term. So that's my answer right there. Second one has two terms. First thing I check, is it a difference of two squares? 64 is a perfect square. Negative 1 is a perfect square. So 8x plus 1, 8x minus 1. Last one, good old trinomial. Guess and check. I'll try 4 and 2. See if I guessed right. So I have 6 and 4, <coughs> which could give me 10. But I need one of them to be uh, negative and one to be positive. So I can't <laughs> do 6 and 4 that way. So I'll try switching the 4 and 2 around. Put the 4 here and the 2 here. So now I have 2x and 12x. 2 and 12, I can get negative 10. I want the 12 to be negative. So the 2 will be positive. So I got negative 8, 3x squared. We're all good. So that's factor.